Hello and welcome to this video, Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about CCD and CMOS sensor. This is the component that's inside of your camera. If you are serious about CCTV, you got to learn that, right? This is the content of the Ultimate Security Camera Guide. Link here in the description. Just click and go for it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your comment, your thumbs up, and hit the bell notification so you can receive more videos like that. So here, as you can see, I'm holding the sensor. Basically, the light comes from the environment, hit the sensor, and the sensor can convert this to electrical signals or to digital signals, depending of the sensor you're using. So I have more information here. Let's come here to the next page where I can see a diagram. Basically here, it's a representation of a CCTV camera. Here, there's the lens and some components. In the center of the camera, there is the main processor, the DSP, digital signal processor. And here, after the processing, the camera sends the signal to a BNC output that goes to your DVR, your recorder. And also here you can connect your power, okay? But what's most important here in this video is this component here, the image sensor. That could be a CCD or CMOS, depending on your camera. Some cameras, uh, analog cameras or IP camera, doesn't matter. They use different kinds of sensors. You can find analog camera and IP camera with both sensors, right? So here you see a picture where you can see the CCD or CMOS sensor uh, here inside. Okay, behind the lens. So the lens is going to come here. And then the light gonna cross the lens and come here and hit the sensor, okay? As you can see here in the diagram, I have the lens. So the light comes, hit this infrared filter. That's available in some of the professional cameras that filters the light, the excess of light, doesn't suppose to hit the sensor. So this can filter the light. It's a piece of glass that's between lens and sensor in professional cameras, some cameras that are not professional, they cut the excess of light electronically, but it's not as good as has, as have a, a filter here, physical filter, like you see here in the professional cameras. So basically, light cross the lens, cross this filter, hit the sensor here, and then can convert, can convert from light to signal. That's what the sensor is supposed to do, okay? So next page here, you can see different sizes of the sensors. Most of the cameras in the market, the security cameras use one third sensor, one third inch sensor, okay? Some of them you're gonna find with half inch sensor that's better, but also more expensive because there's more area here for the light. If you have more areas, more light, then that'll be better because it's more area to receive the light means the camera can receive more light to convert to signals, right? Uh, some cameras like PTZ cameras, you can find with one quarter inch sensor. That's better to zoom. And also you have different sizes here, as you can see for different types of cameras, right? Bigger ones here but most of the camera you're gonna fight with one third sensor. You can take a look at your camera. If you have a, a camera uh, there sitting there, just take a look at your camera so you can understand better which sensor it has, okay? So here I'm uh, holding the sensor as we saw before. Basically this area is going to receive the light then convert to signals. And here, if you take a look at a camera, you can see in the catalog for an analog camera, for example, a lot of features here as color, day, night, resolution, mounting type, uh, all information we already have studied here in this channel. If you don't understand what's that, just look for the other videos here in the channel. But basically here, what's in interesting for this video is that this camera is an analog camera using CMOS sensor. As you can see, I have also analog camera using a CCD sensor and IP camera using CMOS sensor. So you can find different cameras with different sensors. Professional IP cameras nowadays use CMOS sensors, okay? Here, basically, there are some differences between them. CMOS has a lot of components here and the CCD doesn't. So here you have less power consumption here in the CMOS. The CCD consumes more energy, more power. 
This is better for a correction of light exposure. So if you have a problem with light, you can work here in the sensor, directly in the sensor with WDR, BLC, other features you can also find here in other videos. You can work here on the CMOS sensor. Uh, the CCD doesn't work well with uh, expo uh, light exposition correction, okay? Uh, this sensor has less sensitivity to light because there are some components here. So the light uh, hits the sensor, but the component here is kind of blocking some part of the light uh, and the CCD doesn't happen. So the CCD uh, sensitivity here is better in the CCD. But nowadays the technology is better, so the CMOS is getting better with sensitivity and also it's getting bigger, so you don't have so much problem, especially on IP cameras. Here is the fast signal conversion, here is a little bit slow. This is used in modern cameras and this is used more in old cameras, but you can also find modern analog and IP cameras using CMOS sensor, so that's most useful today okay guys this is very important so you can understand that if you don't understand some of the terms here you can just leave a comment and you can just watch new videos that i have here in the channel that's why i ask you to subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you can receive more information about new videos and also look here in the channel for more videos so you can understand better how CCTV cameras work, how security camera works, all right? And don't forget to also leave your thumbs up and your comments. So thanks very much and I see you in the next video.